Hello, welcome to another video about the TM1637 display module. After making my previous video about the mini TM1637 LED and key module, I decided to make another modification to this uh, tiny module. For this modification, I also needed to remove the display module and I used my desoldering iron to uh, get rid of all the solder in the holes and as you can see here it's a simple method of uh, pointing the iron and uh, pulling the solder out uh, sometimes you need to wiggle a bit but then uh, it's easy to remove the components uh, after all the solder is gone so as you can see here the surface of the module has been made flat and uh, I decided to put the connector on the other side of its original location so that the surface remained flat to connect the different components that I want. So I soldered on the connector. And uh, this is the board that I want to use to make uh, my new module. What I want to do is to make a mini LED matrix using these small LEDs. After cutting the board in half, this is how I want to fit the board to the module. To um, make the matrix I want to use this material. And normally it's used for cleaning the soldering iron, but you can also solder it to the board and provide a connection. It takes a bit of uh, patience to connect it and uh, you can also see the spool of transformer wire that I am going to use to make the other connections. But uh, first I connected all the horizontal uh, holes using the solder cleaning uh, mesh. Basically I Put solder on different spots and push it down uh, so it could all be connected. Well, after five rows, you can see here how it looks, and then I continue to use the transformer wire to connect the different columns of the display. Um, my intention was to have horizontal uh, lines sticking out, like you can see here. Um, the rows all have a horizontal connection and on the back side the transformer wire is crossing the tabbing wires that are put on the back side. Here you can see uh, all the different rows connected. So to test it, I am using the favorite multimeter and it is going to beep on all the crossroads and I tested all the rows and all the columns of the display before attaching the LEDs. Now the LED that I want to use has the shape that you can see there with the plus height on the bottom and the mine site in the corner that was marked. And uh, after soldering the first LED, you can see how it uh, lights up as I test it using the multimeter in diode mode. Uh, so that principle works. Yeah. This is uh, the first column of uh, LEDs. They are all apparently still working. So I continued to solder more LEDs to the board. Here yeah, I'm working on the second row and basically I just add an LED, solder the top side and uh, then solder the bottom side. And this is uh, after finishing the second row. Uh, it's not that easy. As you can see here I'm fumbling around with my soldering iron. It, this is not a soldering job for beginners. Also the 
and these may get damaged if you if you heat them up too much so that still works that one works and that one works all working all working yeah um, continuing with the fourth column in total i want to make a six by five uh, matrix so this is the fourth column And here you can see me finish the last column. And the last column has five LEDs. Again, same method, soldering first the top, then moving it around. And uh, after the top has been soldered, I can make sure the placement is correct and solder the bottom side of it. So after connecting all the LEDs of the display, I want to test it out. I test every column of the top row, the second row, the third row, and uh, after the fourth row being tested, I also test the fifth row. And as you can see here, all that worked. So next step is to merge the two boards to avoid any short circuit. I first put a piece of tape on the back side. And uh, I use my scissors to uh, cut it in the right shape. Using tweezers, I put the transformer wire in the holes. And uh, sometimes I tried it just using finger, but uh, tweezers is much easier. Still, it will take a bit of time to get everything, uh, every wire through the hole. And uh, you can fold it around to uh, complete it. Well, after more fiddling, I have almost every wire put through the hole of the display and I pull them on the bottom side to make sure that uh, the two boards are going to meet together. Sometimes it's easier to use the tweezer to do the pulling, but as you can see, you don't want to pull too hard because then you may uh, pull off one of those wires and we don't want it. So when the wires are more or less in the proper position, it's uh, time to uh, push the two boards together. Some of the wires will uh, fall a bit, but uh, that's okay. And most of the wires uh, go relatively straight into the board. And here you can see how uh, it all lines up, or eventually at least comes out of the right hole. And so I do a bit of pushing. And uh, before I continue, with the final wire, I also put up some tape, some temporary tape, to hold the two boards together. Here you can see how it all looked before I started to solder the wires. After sticking temporary tape, it's time to do some uh, soldering. The transformer wire has a small layer of enamel, which will melt when you heat it up sufficiently. This is a bit longer heating than uh, you would normally do to solder wire. After soldering each hole on the top side, I continue to do the same with the bottom side. And when that was done, I used the snips to cut them short. And uh, as you can see, it already starts to look a bit better. It uh, is starting to become a proper module. So after cutting all the wire ends off, it looked like this. And uh, here you can see my first test. Uh, I'm using the ATtiny44 with a little test program. Here you can see the LEDs doing some binary counting on the different rows. And that way I test each and every individual LED to make sure it properly lights up. And uh, as it does, I can now remove the temporary tape and use uh, the hot snot of the glue gun to make a more permanent connection. Here you can see some test application running. And uh, after the fact, I also added a small connector for uh, adding maybe some push buttons at a later stage. I hope you like this particular example and uh, you can find the example in my github page
Um, but, um, well, I hope you like this. So to conclude, I want to show you this nice bundle of wires. As you can see here, there's a small LED matrix. And what you see here is a D1 Mini. And I have one of these modules. And in a subsequent video, I will show you a bit more about these. And let me try to connect that, reset, and here it goes. Oh, bye bye. I hope you like this video. And if you do, please subscribe to be notified of any future videos.